greetings humanity of our world. We will now be commencing, Operation Columbia Venezuela, and Operation Gran Colombia. The deployment of these operations, is for the liberation of the people in Venezuela Colombia. A state of emergency has been declared in Tachira state, still held in suspense, the people of the region and even more, are losing their homes through corporate paid demolitions. Indeed, the corporate paid workers, marks houses with spray paint, to indicate which of them should be dismantled. More than 1,500 Colombian citizens, have been deported from Venezuela, because of the border conflict. 300 homes have been revised, and more than 800 are homeless, traveling along the trails between the two countries. Anonymous users of the social network Twitter, reported, that the houses of the Colombian people, that are being deported, are marked by guard officers of National Bolivarian, with a letter, R, and D, the brand that condemns houses, to be demolished from the Colombians deported. This action was compared in images in which it was performed in Germany, with the Nazis removing Jews from their residence. In Venezuela, there are more than 5 million Colombians. Do they plan on deporting them all? Someone said, that human cruelty, is a mystery, that does not grant any honorable exit. President Nicolas Maduro, and the Venezuelan military, should be accountable for forcibly removing humble Colombian families from their homes, and having them crossing the border, linking the two brotherly countries, with the sadness on their faces, and frets on the backs. And the litany of deportation is. This I built with effort all my life. You hear between silence and tears. Now start from 0 to 50, and in the Chinese motorcycle, that I could buy, I'll ride my daughter, my wife, my cat, and a mattress. With it, I will cross the border river. He argues, that they should treat us like refugees, he has come to Venezuela fleeing violence in Colombia. Advantage of a usual incident practically in one step of the busiest border of the continent, with the aim of distracting Venezuelans' attention from the serious problems we impact within society, is the greatest irresponsibility, Nicolas Maduro policy. What Nicolas Maduro, and the military regime is doing to the people, borders municipalities of Tachira, and especially Colombian inhabitants has only compared to the night of the broken glass executed by Adolf Hitler, against the Jewish community, in Nazi Germany. The problem of food shortages, and smuggling of imports and gasoline to Colombia, is that Colombians are not Tachira, not the people of Maracaibo, not Brazilians entering, not Santa Relina de Uaira and Puto Ordaz, nor the frequent Guria Trinidadians visitors. The problem is, the lack of domestic production which fails to meet the nation's demand, after more than 17 years of progressive destruction of the Venezuelan production unit. The border closure and suspension of constitutional, guarantees by a usual incident in the border state, it is given on the grounds other than the regime's argument. Venezuela. Wake up. Do not be slaves. The most coward act, is defending a tyrannical leader. Colombian brothers and sisters, Nicolas Maduro and his regime, are not Venezuela. We are also victims. Xenophobia and neo-Nazism, is not a national feeling. We embrace the Colombian people. Every human being, even without legal papers, deserves respect and due process. The violation of civil and human rights is not a show, they are evil deeds of those in so-called power faced with such violation. Operation Colombia Venezuela, and Operation Gran Colombia, is now, engaged. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To the corporate controlled puppet government of Venezuela. Expect us. Anonymous Colombia. Anonymous Peru. Anonymous Argentina. Anonymous Chile. Anonymous Paraguay. Anonymous Brasil. Anonymous México. Anonymous Honduras. Anonymous Guatemala. Anonymous Sudamérica. Familia Neon Rusek. Anonymous Familia Internacional. Somos la única y real legión en Venezuela.